How old are you, Kaylee? Five. Five. How have the five years been? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. Her mom would say very good because no one knew if Kaylee would make it to her first birthday. Now, she was born with severe brain abnormal, abnormal, or abnormalities, excuse me, including hydrocephalus, which is actually excessive fluid on the brain. Yeah, enter the fine folks at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. U.S. News & World Report, for the first time ever, ranked the medical center second in the nation overall for That's kid incredible. care. That is incredible. The neurology and neurosurgery unit that really helped Kaylee, well, it ranked second too. Not bad. So we're telling her story because it's a micro level look at what it means to have the second best children's hospital in the country right here. So this was Kaylee at birth and here she is at her kindergarten graduation. And now you get to see her in action. Wise men say only fools wash and a little kid who loves Elvis. You gotta love that. And to think Kaylee is singing and coloring and just being a five year old when that at one point didn't even seem possible. I asked that question. I was like, is she going to live when she's born? And they're like, we can't tell you. Mom Mary D'Angelo also learned the babies who live with Kaylee's challenges are often tube fed, wheelchair bound and nonverbal. We were told she would never walk. She's walking. She told she never talked. She started talking at two and hasn't stopped. Um. <laughs> she credits prayer and care. She says the team at Cincinnati Children's saw her daughter through to the other side of hope. I'm hungry. Are you? Are you? Girl, you are always hungry, huh? You can see the bond between Kaylee and her doctors. This is her pediatrician. I think the coordination of care that we do at Cincinnati Children's has great value. When we have pediatricians talking to hematologists, talking to orthopedic surgeons, talking to neurosurgeons, we can just give better care. That doesn't mean it's easy. In a roundabout way, you learn Kaylee's been through a lot when you ask her what she wants to be when she grows up. And an inventor, like, I want to invent a big x-ray table. She wants to invent an MRI machine so I can sit in the MRI with her. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of scans, you can see where physicians placed a shunt in Kaylee's brain to drain fluid into her stomach. So how many surgeries has she had? 11. In five short years? In five short years. Even now, her head is shaved because of a recent procedure. But all the intervention has allowed Kaylee to be who she is. Today's the best day ever. So when her mom hears Cincinnati Children's ranks second in the country. It's not surprised me at all because this hospital is absolutely amazing. So it's, a, it's part of the culture here is to say, let's get better, let's improve it. Why is this not working? Um, and I think that's, that's part of the magic of Cincinnati Children's. Magic that makes what Mary calls medical miracles like her Kaylee a reality. Oh, I can't help falling in love with you. <laughs> And you can't ha but fall in love with her. We have all of children's departmental rankings on WCPO.com. The specialties of cancer and gastroenterology finished first, actually. And if you're interested in hearing Kaylee sing that whole song, we've posted that, too, on the WCPO Facebook page. We certainly